Hi Libra, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for the rest of the year. Well, you are getting a lot of attention. I'm not sure it's the attention you do want. Um, there's people that definitely are harboring a secret. Uh, it's almost sexual feelings for you. It's not being expressed for whatever reason, but there's a lot of lustful connections headed your way. People wanting you for your body. They like the way you look. Some of you really working hard in terms of gym, exercise, eating healthy. It's paying off. You're seeing the results here, but it is bringing in a lot of, I don't know, more sex-based connections here though. What can Libra expect here? Virgo. I'm getting high vibration here, uh, Libra. I don't see you really entertaining flings. Um, you're very particular about keeping your energy clean, clear. But I do see you really... Who? Whoa. Look at that. We have Leo, Saturn, Sun, 10th house. This is major recognition. Uh, stepping up the ladder here. This is a beautiful, beautiful month here for your career. The limelight is on you. The spotlight is on you. Whatever you are doing here for a living, your studies, your school, your finances is amazing. But you're being recognized here for your hard work, your dedication to your goals. Mercury and Leo, some of you have a really gift. You have a really gift. You are really gifted with uh, communication. You're a great communicator, powerful leader, someone that can really inspire, uplift others with your words. That may be your life purpose. Some of you are teachers in whatever form that is, right? But people love listening to you, hearing you talk, your voice. You're very motivating, but you're a confident speaker, and that is what is being highlighted. Oh, major success here for you. Especially if you do something in the public eye. Yeah, I'm getting, you're attracting more superficial almost connections, but that's not what you're wanting. I don't feel that. Saturn eighth house. Saturn and Virgo is more long term. With all this Earth coming through with the eighth house, this can talk about um, some sort of court matter or inheritance, other people's finances that you may benefit from. But if that is the case, you'd already be aware of it. But yeah, look, Saturn again, tenth house, Capricorn. But it's also getting more organized here, Libra, in your day to day and your health habits, living a health, healthier lifestyle here. You're making some changes because the eighth house is also Pluto transformation. Your reading is quite similar to Scorpio. Some of you may have Scorpio in your chart, especially when it comes to the general theme, right? What can Libra expect here? Ascendant. First house. Yeah. There's some changes here when it comes to your body, your health, the way you carry yourself. But, it, you know, I can't make something up. What is really standing out to me is your body. Some of you are models. That is why I'm getting with the Sun 10th house. But expect expansion here. If you're looking for a job, very, very positive omen. If you're struggling with health, that is also, I see improvement here. It's a beautiful month. I mean, there has been challenges. We see that with the world, but you'll see some positive news coming in. This has to do with your job, Eight of Pentacles, but also you've been putting in the work. So it's like Saturn is rewarding you in a way with the world. Okay, let's see how this person is perceiving you. Lovers, three of cups in reverse. This seems to be a third party right away. Um, or just someone playing the field. So they see you. They see your body. I don't know how I feel about this person. Clarify lovers. Or how this person is viewing Libra. Clarify lovers. 
Temperance, Seven of Pentacles. This is someone who's not wanting to go anywhere. They're wanting to compromise. I see that in the outcome. But they have a decision to make. So if this is someone who's pulled back their energy, it's because there's also other people involved, right? Emperor. Huh. Why is Three of Cups in reverse here? Two of Cups. The reason they're not coming together with you is because there's... Some of you, they're getting to know new love. If this is someone you've had a break with, they're moving on with their other options. It's a new person. But they're also wanting to string you along. For others of you, if your person is not playing the field, or, you know, they're not a player, then what I'm getting here is that there is a strong physical and emotional connection here. They have love for you. It's not being expressed. You're not coming together, but their the love remains. In their feelings, nine of swords, guilt, regret, sleepless nights. Because again, six of pentacles, situations are not in balance. Perhaps because someone was giving to two people or just scattering their energy as the knight of wands often does. No direction. And now they feel like they're losing out. Why are they stressed out? Clarify nine of swords. They're, they don't have anything to give to you, but they're feeling guilty. Clarify Nine of Swords for how this person will be feeling about Libra. Well, it seems like they're genuinely regretful for what they've put you through. I've seen the King of Cups, Five of Pentacles. Okay, they're missing you. They feel left out in the cold. Libra, did you turn your back? You're saying no to second chances, Three of Cups. If you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, very fixated on you. Why is Six of Pentacles here in reverse? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, someone waited for the other, but because they didn't step up, they're tr trying to drop this. So that could be you, could be this person. But uh, this person, specifically Gemini coming through, very stuck in their head insecure doesn't see a way out of their problem here really really stressed out this gemini some of you the decision is between a significant other queen of pentacles and you and they feel stuck in their circumstances this is something external to you whoa this person is really going through something emotionally it's a it's a very difficult energy it's almost depression here Right? I feel stuck, I feel chained, but I don't know what to do. That is what they're thinking, feeling. Their intentions, six of swords, five of swords. Wanting to move forward towards the calmer waters, but having a hard time. This person's having a hard time making peace with their past. They don't know how to move forward. They're trying. They're trying to detach, but... They're meeting with a lot of obstacles. Why is Five of Swords here? Empress. This is conflict with you. They see your worth. They see everything you have to offer. But a lot of you, three, three. We actually have three people in both of these cards. Six of Swords and Five of Swords. And then the Empress is also three. So there's a third energy. You would know what that third energy is. Is it children? Is it a mother? Is it their significant other? But there's third energy that's interfering. Again, crying over the three cups. This person misses you, but there's obstacles in the way. Five, five. What action they'll take? King of Cups, Two of Pentacles. They're not in a position emotionally um, to deal with the situation. So they're choosing to drop this. Emotionally, they're very imbalanced. Super moody. They need to focus on themselves. They don't have anything to offer. Why is King of Cups in reverse for what action this person will take? Four of Pentacles. They're trying to release this because it brings them a lot of stress, anxiety. They're having a hard time though, death in reverse. It's not easy for them. How you're feeling, Seven of Swords in reverse, Ace of Swords. You're feeling like you know what you need to know. You caught them in a lie for some of you, Seven of Swords in reverse. But you're not confused here. 
why seven of swords here in reverse for how libra will be feeling ten of pentacles some of you found out someone was already committed or someone was stealing money but that will be for very few of you but others of you discovered if it's a third party and they're already committed that they're not leaving their past right whatever they've already established Clarify Seven of Swords in reverse for how Libra will be feeling. It's a lot going on in this reading, Two of Swords, High Priestess. Your intuition felt there was something off all along. Some of you were ignoring your gut instincts, but they're on point. There's some secret being revealed to you. You know what you need to know about the situation, Libra, to move forward. Why is Ace of Swords here? Ooh, I like that. Well, some of you, again, the secret was someone had another person, but I see victory when it comes to your career, your finances. And I see you diverting your attention to yourself. Some of you are learning a new skill and that will really get you ahead. But you're coming through as very intelligent, stable. But a lot of, oh yeah, three of pentacles. Temperance is also Jupiter paired next to the three of pentacles work success getting along with co-workers some of you if you're leaving one job when say it's a toxic environment for another i feel like you'll love this job better you'll get along with the people you work with but again it's something you've been working on and you're seeing results in a major way it's like it's like blowing up for example if it has to do with like say you starting your own channel i see you getting a lot of recognition right it's just an example but something here really is taking off for you it's your month sun in 10th house you can look that placement up it's very very powerful you're in more of a masculine energy here when it comes to uh your goals and your career so if you have an idea, I see you taking action, not sitting back and waiting for things to happen, right? It's all about forward movement. Your outcome? Okay, nine of wands upright, seven of pentacles in reverse, temperance, nine of wands, six of cups, five of pentacles. A lot about your past coming through, right? There was an energy that wasn't coming forward, wanting to drop this. I see you giving up on this person. You don't trust them, nine of wands. You're... They come back around and you're side-eyeing them, right? You're saying you were a waste of time in the past, perhaps taking you for granted. You were, you didn't know if they were coming or going. They're saying, let's work together. And you're saying, I don't know. I remember the past. There is memories here. I do miss you from time to time, but I'm uncertain. So you'll have a choice here and your outcome is what I'm getting. A lot of you will want to give up on this situation. It's too unstable for you. Moon, Six of Cups. Yeah, same energy. Look at that. There is feelings here on both ends, but this person, they didn't treat you right. Some of you, they were a player. King of Wands in reverse. It's like star-crossed lovers for some of you. Wheel of Fortune star in reverse let's pull you out some oracle cards here and see what they have to say some of you this person was blocking your blessings they were keeping you stuck super possessive but they know they can't continue like this they have a lot of internal work to do healing yeah, we have 75. Deep frustration. Exactly. I could. That is their energy. Deep frustration, right? We had the moon, eight of swords, feeling chained, stuck, experiencing a lot of anger. But we also have selfish intentions, narcissistic behavior, which can be the five of swords. I don't know if they're a full-blown narcissist. They may have some tendencies, right? You may feel you know your situation, your person better, or this person, I should say better, but I do feel someone who's extremely depleted and doesn't really have much to give to you or anyone.
mixed feelings towards you they need emotional clarity yeah very confused but you have your clarity i don't think you're confused <laughs> oh my goodness as i say confusion 37 overthinking the situation nine of swords confused by too many choices so perhaps they're not you know married to someone but they're having a hard time choosing they have too many options that is also a problem they will never change it was only a lesson out of their comfort zone you're not like the rest you're the empress they don't know what to do with you but they're not willing to change their player like ways king of wands this is not you you're not the problem right is what the cards are saying here some of you they're just not healthy oh, sorry they're just not used to dealing with healthy people healthy connections right i was seeing better friends than lovers and we had the lovers here perhaps this was a friendship turned into love but perhaps you're better off as friends secretly yearning for you they do think about you a lot trying to score but this person was i don't know playing you again better friends than lovers heartbreak can also be a situation with friends with benefits but didn't end well learning lessons again here in libra outside influences there's someone better there's someone better Toxic behavior, 32. One more. Tempting offer. Maybe you were a temptation. They're tempting to you. Obsessed with you. I can see that. There's sudden changes, but they're saying magic happens when you let go and sudden change. Obsessed with you. Especially if you felt like you were chasing, right? They're saying if you let go, it's almost like suddenly this person's fixated on you. Some of you, they're taking you for granted, like Libra won't go anywhere, right? But it's toxic behavior. And they're back around here with a tempting offer and the outcome. I'm so impressed with you. Yeah, you're the Empress. But I like things the way they are, not ready to make any changes. They love your smile, specifically. You have a beautiful smile. We have getting attention from other women or men makes me feel attractive. Keeping their options open. Some of them were into open relationships. That is what I have for you. I'll leave it here, Libra. Take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.